Hi friends, today I will be talking about four layer compression bandages. So these are the various components you will need to put a four layer compression bandage. This is the first layer which is an orthopedic bandage or a soft roll. This is the second layer which is a light compression bandage also called as a conforming bandage. This is an elastic compression bandage which will be the main component of the four layer bandage and this is a cohesive bandage to keep all the three layers in place. And you will need a pair of gloves to do the procedure and a paper plaster to keep the bandages in place. Now let's start and do the procedure. So welcome back friends. Now we will go ahead with the procedure. I have already done an examination glove and the patient is lying in a comfortable position on a, on a couch. The angle should be at right angles for us to start the procedure. This is the first layer now. I will be taking the first layer, the orthopedic bandage or the soft roll and we will be wrapping it around the at the level of the base of the toes and we will be going in a spiral fashion only at the level of uh, the ankle we need to go in a figure of a bandage to cover it completely. And once again above the ankle we will go in a spiral fashion with a 50% overlap and go right up to the point around 2 cm below the popliteal crease. So this is the this is the knee joint and two, two fingers below the popliteal crease we need to go up to that point. You can discard the remaining amount. Then we come to the second layer which is the conforming layer which is a light compression bandage and we start again at the base of the toes and first go in a spiral fashion up to the ankle and at the level of the ankle do a figure of eight and go once again on top in a spiral fashion with 50% overlap once again we will go up to around 2 cm below the popliteal crease Now we will go to the third layer which is the elastic compression bandage and this is the only layer among the four layers in which we need to go in a figure of eight fashion right from the start to the finish. So we will start at the base of the base of the toes and uh, stretch the bandage to around 50% more of the length and once again 50% overlap try to go in a figure of figure of weight fashion go back and go forward go back and go forward go back then again forward So at the end of the procedure it should look like this. And secure it again with a paper plaster. Now we go to the last layer of the folded bandage which is the cohesive bandage. We once again start at the base of the toes and go in a spiral fashion. Once again at the level of the ankle, go in a figure of 8 fashion to cover the heel and then once more above the ankle go in a spiral fashion with 50% overlap. So this layer of the compression bandage contributes to around 20 to 25 percent, 20 to 25 millimeters of mercury of pressure, and the third layer contributes to around 
15 to 20 millimeters of mercury. So in total we are aiming to give a pressure around 40 millimeters of mercury, which is beneficial for the healing of venous ulcers and lymphatic conditions. So this is how it should look at the end with the first layer of the folate bandage rolled down a little bit so as to you know, avoid any kind of an injury to the skin because of the tight compression bandages. Same here. And this bandage can be maintained for around 4 to 7 days and to be changed after 4 to 7 days. One more thing we need to be sure of is the vascular supply to the leg. The ankle brachial index should be any time more than 0.8 in such patients. If it is less than 8, this application is contraindicated. Thank you.